A few years ago, I maxed my Iron Man, but now I'm back. To obtain the best gear, complete combat achievements, and waste time filling out the collection log. Welcome to the Iron Man Endgame. I'm taking on more and more challenging content, so I think it's time to get the Void Waker, a very powerful spec weapon that's used in so many different places in the game. This is going to be tough though, because in order to make it, I have to get three different drops from Callisto, Vedion, and Venonatus, or their solo boss variant. Sounds easy enough, but they're in the wilderness, so I'm at risk of being attacked by players at any time. So strap in, because this is going to be a long, long journey. Enjoy. Now, a great way to start this grind as an Iron Man is to hunt the Revenant weapons. They're super strong in the wilderness and will make the grinds of the bosses significantly faster. So that means we need to get back into Slayer, namely Wilderness Slayer. Recently, they made it where if you kill Revenants on task, you can get the weapons five times more commonly. So that's the plan. I'm going to be trying to get Revenant tasks, do a bunch of those, get lucky on the weapons, use the weapons, and then get the Void Waker. Easy peasy. No problem. And there's actually a really good way of getting wilderness tasks without spending points or too much time. And that's with Turiel. For example, if you go and grab a task from Crystalia, the wilderness slayer master, and you get a task you don't want to do, you don't have to spend points to skip it. Just go to Turiel and it'll reset the wilderness slayer streak, not the normal task streak. So I'm actually not going to be losing my task streak by using Turiel this way. Super nice. And definitely during this grind, I am going to be changing up my wilderness block list to make it better suited for the wilderness. This is not going to cut it. And I'm going to be extending revenants so I can get as many as possible. And just like that, I got my very first task. Now, there's a million methods of doing revenants, but I think when you're first starting out on an Iron Man especially, the best way is with safe spotting knights. This is the gear that I'm bringing. When I die, the only item I'm saving is going to be the salve amulet, so I made sure to get a bunch of duplicates of everything, because I'm going to be losing a lot during this, every time someone kills me. As for how to do the knights, it's really simple. It's just in the way north part of the revenant caves. You take this knight right here, and then you drag it around these stalagmites, and wait for him to get next to you. You run to the corner, and then you run out of aggro range, and he just stands there, and you get a free kill. It's very low supply usage, and the benefit is you can use slaughter bracelets to extend the task very easily. And while all this is happening, obviously I can get attacked, which is going to happen very frequently, like this guy right here. You know, getting attacked in the wilderness is a really good way to practice your prayer flex because that's kind of all it is. It's just making sure you have the right prayer up, watching what they're doing, and just trying to get away. If you're even half decent with switching prayers, you should be able to survive most PKers because for some reason a lot of them don't even teleblock you. So, not even that risky of a method. Anyway, going forward I'm going to be using live footage. I just didn't have really good audio in these clips. So, back to Noobble Doobble in the past. There we go. I just saw a peak air and the task is over, so I gotta hop and then I'm gonna run away. All around, pretty good first experience with revs. Dragging over to the loot tracker. Um, it says that I tracked 139 kills. I actually got 140, but the first kill was tagged. Funnily enough, that was the only one that was tagged the whole time. But um, yeah, loot's pretty decent. Four mil. I mean, considering the drop rates, this really isn't that bad. I, I, I did this in maybe a couple hours. I'm not entirely sure. To give context, I was attacked, I think, three times, maybe four times, and I only died once the entire time. I'm pretty proud of that. I would not consider myself good at PKing at all. I am garbage. TLDR, I had way more fun at revs than I thought I would. I was waiting for this task. It is the highest weight from Crystalia. It is a decent task for Laren's Keys, but that is not what we're working on. So it is going on the block list. And it turns out I actually didn't know that she assigned Black Demons. I guess I must have missed that. So we're just going to keep that on the block list. Easy. Uh, so we're going to remove, I guess, Aberrant Spectre. They're not even that a bad task. I don't know why I haven't blocked anyway. But um, yeah. Goodbye, Greater Demons. And I've already blocked every like high weight task. The only ones left are like Earth Warriors, Ice Giants, Lesser Demons. But it's actually crazy how fast I've already set up my block list, pretty much. 
Spiders. Okay. That's my first boss. That's Spindle. I was kind of hoping for more rev tasks, but this is inevitable. Venonatus and Spindle. Oof, this is gonna be fun. Kind of glad I grinded out the bludgeon all those years ago. I really haven't, like, used it too much. Even back then, it wasn't, like, insane, I guess. Uh, but it's pretty good here. Like, it is by far my best option um, for Spindle. And I'm pretty sure Calvarion as well. With Protect Item, I'm only risking uh, this kind of stuff. So it's not too bad. As long as I don't lose my Protect Item. If, if I somehow get smited, I do lose my Slayer Helm. Uh, but that's fine. Enough blabbering. I am excited to try this. I've never done the boss, so I'm going to have to learn the mechanics. But I've heard it's quite easy. Hey! I, I don't know the drop rate of elites, but that's cool. I didn't, I didn't even think about getting elites during the grind. That was a quick one. So I looked it up. The drop rate is 1 in 95 for me because I have the elite combat achievements. It would actually be halved if I was wearing um, Ring of Wealth imbued during there, but I feel like I'd be risking every time. So probably not worth it, but th that's actually not even bad like rate for elites. Probably get like one a task, you know? But as usual, the reward's going to be bad. Oh, yeah, as I expected. The first red spider egg drop. I've been looking forward to these, man. It's kind of like Seracnus. You get a bunch of them at once. But I think this boss is actually even better than Seracnus when it comes to red spider eggs. It's going to be so nice because I have so many Snapdragons uh, coming in from Tombs of Amaska and a bunch of other content. Especially all the chambers I did. Well, there you have it. The last combat achievement from the boss. So from now on, if I get a pop-up, I know it's a drop. All right, I think that's where this trip ends. I, I don't know exactly how many kills that is, but I mean, at least 10. It, it was a good one. Couple things. My limiting factor here, uh, as you can see in my inventory, because I was getting really lucky on these restore drops, was the run energy, because I'm still making mistakes. Uh, this boss should be basically no uh, run loss if you do it well. And then also super combats. I didn't get any drops, and uh, I guess I wasn't really doing them well. So maybe I'm going to bring an extra super combat. Uh, I'm going to still bring the one stamina because I need to just get better. Another thing is because I passed 20 kill count, I get a nice quality of life feature right here. If you right click the cave entrance, you can peek it and it obviously tells you if there's anyone inside, but you have to do that for all of the different bosses. So when I go to the other ones, I'll have to deal with that, but it is nice to have this one unlocked. Well, I took my first L. That was quick. Uh, I realized I don't have any extra Barrow's Gloves, so let's just spend an absolute killing and get a full inventory of them. That was like three mil. There it is. Very last kill. Nice. Let's get out of here. No drops, but that's fine. Uh, I didn't really see that many PKers. I only got attacked uh, maybe three times, and I died that one time. 73 kills. Loot's not bad. Honestly, it's pretty, pretty good. Well, anyway, you know the drill. Back to the tutorial skipping. I'm going to be honest, I am most looking forward to a rev task. The more I do of those, the easier these boss tasks will be in the future, right? Ooh, skeletons. I probably should talk about this. So, um, skeletons count as Vedion. But the thing is, you use the salve there anyway, because he's undead. So you actually don't need a slayer task. And for that reason, I'm actually not going to be doing this task at Calvarian. I'd rather just do that boss whenever I feel like it and not be obliged with slayer, so... Yeah, we're really only looking for revenants, spiders, and bears. That is what I'm talking about. Could this be the one? Man has big boy gear. But he's just maging. I'm really confused. What am I what am I watching? What is happening right now? What is this PKer doing? He's just freezing me and then staff bashing and then maging. What what the fuck? That is the weirdest PK I've ever met in my life. Did he forget a range weapon in the melee weapon? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Holy moly. Just putting it out there. All of these ancient statuettes are fairly rare, for sure. Uh, this one specifically, the effigy, is, while scald, 1 in 4,400. That's sick. I mean, how these work is you... There's Okay, there's a trader in the rev caves who bring this to him and he'll turn it into the money. So it's risky. Yeah, I mean, this is literally just, I was gifted 8 million GP, which on top of how much GP you already get from revenants, it's kind of nuts. With that, I mean, we've seen our first rare big drop from revs. Hopefully the next one is a weapon. It better be. Bro, it's been like five kills. What in the world? I am out of here. 
Well, I mean, I don't really need to give you guys more context. We, we just talked about it, but you know, it is the, this is the second um, least expensive. Uh, I, I think this is actually the most common. I think it's like 1100, one in 1100. So it's around the same rarity as a weapon from the Knights. I mean, if anything, it's just, dude, the collection log, it's filling out. It is filling out, man. Oh, and I guess as an update, we are up to uh, 265 kills. I'm just surprised at like how easy it is to get like a large amount of rev kills. Like I'm gonna get to the drop rate like pretty soon. As long as I keep getting these revenants tasks, um, I could probably get to the drop rate of a weapon in a week. Just let me cook, man. Just trying to chill. Oh, I, I saw this guy earlier. He is kind of slapping though. Repairs also low. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what he did last time. He just like he dumps everything, and then when it doesn't go his way, he just leaves. Like, come on, you gotta you gotta you gotta hunt for your food, man. Oh my god, no way, no way. I'm getting out. I got a crossbow. I got a crossbow. Last kill of the task, dude. I literally opened my recorder because I'm like, oh, this is the last kill of the task. Um, yo, that's really cool. I'm gonna make a clip. <laughs> Today is such a good day. This video is sponsored by my live stream over on Twitch. I have a really nice cozy community over there. I do my normal Iron Man grinds, but we kind of just fuck around and chat. It's a good time. So if you want to come over and check it out, I do recommend it. And it is a great way to directly support me if you would like to. Most of you have Amazon Prime. And if you do, that means you have Twitch Prime and you can get a free subscription to any Twitch streamer. You get all the benefits of being a subscriber and it directly supports me. But either way, I welcome all of you to come over. We have a good time over there. Back to the video. With this new bow, I have a bunch more opportunities in the wilderness, namely Callisto. Using this, I can duo with a friend of mine and get a pretty good shot of getting the Void Waker hilt. So outside of Revs and the Spider Boss, that is where I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time. Okay, first drop at Callisto. Not really, not necessarily ex like what I want right away. Uh, <laughs> But pretty cool, pretty cool. When I went for the D-Pick originally, this is years ago, um, I did Callisto. It took me 81. So we're starting with 81 kills on the log. And uh, yeah, that's the log so far. So no way. We see a Void Waker Hill. Yo, congrats. It's not me though. No. Man, all right. I'm, I'm happy for him. But if, if I see him get another one, that is, that's going to be a stinker. Absolutely destroyed. I died. Yes, there it is. The task is over. So with this Callisto, right? Uh, yes, we did the entirety of this task in one sitting. Yeah, 91 kills took us a total of like a, almost 170 Callisto. Uh, because when, I don't know if it's just because I'm going with a main account. Maybe it's different, different with Iron Man, but you're not, you know, you're not guaranteed to get the Slayer kill. Um, it's, I think it's based on how much damage you do, and, uh, that's your chance of getting the Slayer kill. That's what we've kind of figured out throughout the task. Maybe it's wrong, but, yeah, that was a lot of fucking kills. Um, I started the kill count at 81. Um, so 81 to 250 without stopping. Uh, I am very tired. We, try we had to do it at, like, really bad, weird times, because, uh, that way we don't say PKers. So it was, like, 2 a.m. to now, and it's currently 9.30 in the morning, so... My uh, my sleep schedule is absolutely ruined. Was it worth it? Probably not. 72. That is actually nice. I don't want to max them out. 91 was way too much. Oh my. 48. What is that? Okay, so I just got back-to-back -back dragon bones. Love to see it. Let's go. Dragon pickaxe. It's actually really good uh, quality of life for me because I currently have a dragon pickaxe sitting at Tombs of a Mascot, so... Uh, anytime I needed my pickaxe, I had to go and grab it, remove it, and then remember to put it back in. So, ah, that's just, that's so convenient. I've always wanted a second one for that reason. Either way, I hopefully that is the last one we see. I mean, it's very unlikely. We're going to see a lot of them, but don't really need any more. <laughs> and yes, before you judge, I forgot my runes this trip. Oh my god, he got it. Let's go. Hold on, you guys don't understand, so... Um, my friend Sai, right, I've been doing all the Callisto with him. His main reason for coming here was to get the pet. Like, he's just like, I'm gonna help you out, you know. Callisto's definitely better with teams. You need your Void Waker hilt. I want the pet. <laughs> here we go, he gets the pet super early, man. That is so sick. 
That is so sick for him. I'm so happy. I will say, Callisto is probably one of my favorite pets in the game, so I wouldn't mind it either. But uh, I definitely wanted him to get it more. Um, that's what he was here for. Wait, wait, wait. He's downstairs. Let's look at him. No, he went up. Oh, he's dodging me. Oh my god, look at him go! It's it's literally one of my favorite pets. It's so cute, man. It's so cute. He's so pudgy. Oh, I love him so much. Uh, Alright. You know, I will say, compared to the first task, that was much smoother. Like, it took so much less time. I think I said, yeah, the first one was like 90 kills. It took like 7 plus hours. Um, I think we just weren't really good. Uh, this time around, we were a lot better, and uh, we saw... Literally no one, just like the first task, like just only a handful of PKers, never died, which is beautiful. Um, that, that is actually crazy to think about, that I've done, at least on Runelight, it says I've done 318 Callisto, and I have never died to a PKer, so I was expecting the multi-bosses to just be a lot of deaths, but we're just not seeing people. I, I guess people don't PK Callisto, which is great. Because unfortunately, I am out of ether. basically. We're, we're down to 1,400, and I have broken down, I'm pretty sure, all of my... Yeah, we've broken down all the bracelets. So this is not enough if I get another Callisto task. So if I get another Bears task, we will be skipping for now um, until we get another Rev task. It works out that I think like one Rev task is one Callisto task. I think that'll probably work out in terms of ether. So, yeah, we just got to do one more of those. And I still want to do revs anyway. I, re I really want the mace. It is kind of weird, though. We have not seen a uh, Claws of Callista. We're, we're definitely past the drop rate as a team. Like, we should have seen one by now. Not necessarily, like, me getting one, for sure. But close. Very close. I think, like, next task, we should have seen a Claws of Callista by the end. Yo! No way! Bronze boots from Cave Crawlers. Oh, my. I mean, the cooler part is that uh, that is slot 799. So <laughs> whatever is the next collection log is the lucky 800. Hopefully that is the uh, Void Waker piece, but surely it's that one, right? Surely. Hold the phone. I'm I'm actually a dumbass. I've been killing these guys for, you can see the, the ground, um, an embarrassing long amount of time. Uh, I am supposed to kill cave slimes, not cave crawlers. <laughs> This is what set, like, so many hours of Callisto in two days does to a man. Okay, I guess I'm just a dragon pickaxe magnet. Oh, another one. This time from Spindle. It's actually my first drop from this boss so far. It's just bank value, I suppose, at this point. Oh my god, yes! That is such a good drop. Woo! Fangs of Venonatus. I already talked about it. You know how the wilderness weapons work. All of them have an upgrade as well from these bosses. The Fangs of Venonatus are is the one specifically for the crossbow. Combining them creates the Web Weaver Bow, which is just a juiced up version of the crossbow, and it looks so much better. Look at that. I love it, dude. That red triangle. I don't know. It kind of looks tacky, but it looks so strong. The main benefit is it just has better stats. It has... 10 more range bonus, I believe, and I think like five strength bonus or something. So more max hits and much better accuracy, which is going to go a long way over at Callisto. Along with that, all of the weapon upgrades give you a special attack. The uh, This one is actually really good. It fires four times in quick succession, dealing reduced damage and inflicting poison. So it, it'll shoot four shots. And I think the max hit of them for my gear is like a 20 or something like that. So it's like a big burst of damage. With that being said, I'm really only looking for the Void Waker gem now from the Spider Boss. As far as the commons go, that's probably the best one you can get. 60 Snapdragons. Another Dragon Pickaxe. I've actually been looking forward to this with all the skipping. I'm up to 599 tasks, which means I'm on the big 600. I think it's a good idea that every 50 tasks, I come to Konar and get a task here and get a bunch of points. Uh, probably not worth doing it every 10. That just seems a little excessive. But every 50, that's a lot of points to get. So uh, I'm going to probably... Jellies in the Fremmy Slayer dungeon. Okay, I mean, that's doable. Uh, it's a little long. Oh my god, why is it so big? That's way more than I was expecting. 500 points. And I'm going to need it because once we're done with all this wilderness stuff, I'm going to have to rebuild my block list from scratch. There we go, that is what I'm looking for. A Revenant's task, that one is a big one too. Oh my god. No way, did I just get the mace? Holy fuck. Dude, did I, re I really just got the two best rev weapons in like 400 kills? <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. 
That is so dumb. Okay, okay. I, I calmed down a little bit. Whew, I had to I had to get some air. I'm sure I mentioned it. This this item is very, very good. We already went over this. Crossbow is for the bear boss, right? The other two bosses, Vedion and Venonatus, they're weak to crush. So that is where the Vigora's chain mace comes in, and I really, really wanted to get it. I why how did I get both? What is this game? So at this point. The grind for the Void Waker is an absolute reality. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time, right? Um, now, we need to continue uh, doing rev tasks because I'm always going to need Ether, And uh, I, I still wouldn't mind uh, getting other collection logs. The Thamron Scepter would be really cool. The friend that I go with to Callisto um, just grabbed a uh, Bear's Task. He's already ready, so it's just up to me to get one, and then we can send another task soon. I'm curious to see how many charges we have. Okay, so we got 3,600 ether. I think we were down to like 1,200 in this stack. And then we have 26 bracelets. So let me break all of that down quick. It's really convenient switching the left click option. Oh my God, it's just going so fast. 6,500. So we have 10,000. Nice. Um, If I remember correctly, we I used like about 5,000-ish for a Callisto task. Haven't tried the mace at uh, the spider boss yet, so I won't know. But let's just assume another, like, you know, three to 5,000. So I should be good for two more boss tasks until I need to get another rev task. I also finally got around to making a nice uh, bank tag layout for Turiel skipping to make it a lot quicker. On top of that, when I got a minotaur task, I thought may as well. Um, I went and killed a bunch of the creatures in the stronghold of security and grabbed myself a skull scepter. Uh, I... I made one way back in the day because I'm pretty sure you have to for a diary and I must have destroyed it or something. I don't know. Maybe the diary is RS3. I don't I don't remember. Either way, I didn't have one in the bank and it's very good because if you tele it teleports you to Barb Village, which there's a couple tasks down there. Honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm really just trying to get the bears because my, uh, my friend is waiting on me. So hopefully we get that. Skilled Slayer. Oh, no. <laughs> Back-to-back -back Revenants, I cannot say no to that. I can't. That is so worth it. 135, that is literally what I had last time. Exactly. What is up with this repeat number shenanigans? Uh, but anyway, uh, this is actually fine. I don't really want to do revs right now because that's a few hours. But what I can do is store it right here. Um, I don't know when they release this, but you can actually like store tasks uh, to do at a later date. And that is a perfect thing, thing to do for revs right now um, when I don't want to do them. So it should be in the unlock somewhere. Yeah, task storage. It is 1,000 points. You can store your task for 50 points. I didn't know it was that expensive, but that's... We're going to be profiting so many points. This is definitely worth it just to make my life a bit easier, you know? Wait, hold on. Whoa! Wilderness Slayer task cannot be stored. Okay, I went through all of that spiel for nothing. Okay, ignore me, guys. All right, I guess we got to do Revenants. <laughs> I guess I got to do more. I'm getting a little tired of the knights. Now that I have two weapons, it's not as, like, I guess, absolutely essential that I extend my uh, rev tasks to its fullest. And that's why you do the knight spot. It just maximizes the task, right? Um, and the fact that I have a web weaver bow, it's such a good rev killing weapon. I'm going to actually be trying out uh, this method of revs over here in this part of the cavern. Um, people just call it the fours because there are four of them. Uh, let me mark them. So uh, with this method, I need a bracelet on so it reduces damage. But basically, I just kill all four in a cycle, and it's a lot faster kills per hour. Also, because I'm using the web weaver, I don't really want to be scald. I don't really want to ever have a risk of losing it. So I'll have a slightly worse drop chance, but I worked it out that like the faster kills will actually kind of counteract that. Um, so my chance of weapons is still going to be pretty good, but I'm mainly going for the ether, right? So I'm going to see how this goes. If anything, I mean, with this weapon, I should be absolutely destroying these revenants. Yeah, 100%. That is how I'm going to be doing the tasks from now on. My lord. I did, like, 80 kills in less than 20 minutes. Again, I'm, I'm not scald. So, like, several times PKers would log in, look at me, and either log out or run away. Like, they're, they're just not even going to try to attack you when you're not scald. Uh, they wouldn't get as much loot, right? So, jeez, man. Why didn't I start that earlier? There's no way I just got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back revenants. What the fuck? That's one in a hundred! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, like I said, I can get this done in like an hour. Easy. Maybe less. Okay, okay, Jagex, you are taking the piss. I got a back-to-back -back again! 
It's a 10% chance, guys. 10% chance. So I hit that once, and then I hit it again, and now I hit it a third time. That is a one in a thousand chance for that to happen. Oh my god. Man, I'm literally going to be hitting um, a th almost a thousand revs. I'm going to be getting there, man. What is this? <laughs> All I want to do is the wilderness bosses, dude. Oh my god. Beautiful change of pace. From all those revenants, I got another bear's task, which is perfect. Like I said, my friend has one queued up, so we're going to be doing that probably tomorrow night. During this one, I'm praying that we see a closet Callisto. That'd be so good for my miss. Oh, that was the third task of bears I've done at Callisto. All right, well, he's dead. Rip an ether. Yeah, I just finished it. 80 bears, which generally turns into like two times that amount. Uh, now we are up to 577 Callisto. Remember we started at 81. So we've done roughly 500 duo Callisto kills. And uh, yeah, our drops are really weird. I'm, I'm just gonna move over to my loot. Uh, the comments are pretty decent. Like I would honestly say that Callisto probably has the worst of the three bosses in terms of commons. Uh, it's not bad by any means. It's just probably the worst. Um, and then for my personal drops, I've gotten the ring, which is really rare. And then two picks. So, not very good. Now, the thing that's crazy is that in our roughly 500 duos, we have not seen a single Clause of Callisto. And it's one in like 196 or something like that, which is honestly a little disappointing because I, I really want this item now. As for the Void Waker, I mean, he got one really early on. So, we're not even at the rate for two yet. So, hopefully I get the second one. That'd be ideal. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue the Callisto. He actually got a ring this task. I'm sure I showed that. And uh, he's literally one drop away from greening the log, uh, which means he's probably not going to continue uh, going with me, which if that happens, let's say he's done. I'm going to have to go to RDO probably. <laughs> okay. That, that is not what I expected, but it certainly can happen. I got a spider's task from Turiel. That's already happened to me before. I think it was like my second time going. So uh, that's a small amount we get to try out. I'm going to do uh, a quick session of the spider boss. Now that I'm using this new weapon and we're retiring the bludgeon, I do have to bring a defender. I can either use the Avernic, and that's like my big risk, or I can risk the Zerker and bring a dragon defender. And I actually have like a few in the bank still, and at worst, I could just set aside some AFK time, AFK those things. They take like an hour each, not even. Um, and it actually works out to where the dragon defender, berserker ring combo, rather than Avernic defender, is 5% more DPS. And I don't really feel comfortable bringing the Avernic into the Willingness because it's like, I only have one of them and Theater of Blood is just not nice. Also, yes, I know I called it Avernic and Avernic in the same clip. Eat my socks. It's only 50, it's only 50% better. This is pretty bad. I've already, oh, max, <laughs> max 73, let's go. Oh my, I haven't missed yet. Oh, <gasps> my first dragon 2H, let's go. I totally need that. You always get better loot when you open in the wilderness. Not this time. Let's go. Yes, finally we get a drop. I'm getting out. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I am so happy, dude. I, I was getting a little demotivated with this boss. I'm not going to lie. Um, it probably doesn't seem like it in this episode so far, but I've probably been doing wilderness content for upwards of like 100 hours. It's it's. It's been a lot, man. It's been a lot. Hopefully you can't hear that ginormous truck outside. Jesus, I'm recording, man. Much like the Fangs of NNS I got earlier, I'm going to put it on my mace. And just like the uh, upgraded crossbow, it's just slightly better stats. Um, specifically with this one, it does add a lot of max hits. I think it's like four or something, which is quite massive. I'd say like I looked at it recently. I'm pretty sure like at Spindle and then at it's around like a 5%. Uh, DPS increase and then over at like Vedion Calvarion, it's like a six percent, so not insane, but very welcome. Uh, it also adds a special attack, which this one is very good at escaping PKers. So, first of all, it does a lot of damage, but it also drains your target's agility level and prevents them from running. So, like at a boss like Spindle, it's single PKing. Um, if I can get the drop on him and immediately spec him, I can just zoom away and he's a walker, so nice. Honestly, such a good item. Um, and yeah, we finally get something from this boss, dude. It's it's just been... Uh, it's been a trek. Um, we did get the ring like pretty early on. So yeah, dude, now we get the Void Waker. We're, we're done with the uniques. I, I would only be missing the pet. We're creeping up to the point where I should be like deserving of a Void Waker Hild as well, personally. So we'll be done soon. Surely. Maybe. Hopefully. That was like a team of like 20 people, dude. What... Okay, I, I think we're done with Callisto for tonight. <laughs>
Oh no, no. That's not what I want to see because my teammate needs that. Ooh, it's so rare to see a new item from Elites. Dragon legs or skirt ornament kit. All right, all right. Kind of ugly. Skirt's a little bit better. Okay, they look a lot better when you combine it with the other dragon kits. Look at that. I have four of them so far. I would probably want a second one of these kits just so I can have one of each of these things. Just for collection. Holy moly. All right, I just finished this trip of spindle and man. I was here for a while. Uh, I was getting a little scared towards the end because my looting bag was getting so large. Look at this. So 22 kill trip, 500 red spider eggs. So we got two of those drops. We got a snapdragon drop, a bunch of onyx bolts. Along with that though, I do need uh, to get more rev tasks. I mean, I could do them off task, but I am running out of ether. Uh, it's only been a couple days since we've had that like back to back to back to back rev task. You know, it was a pretty crazy night. I think I ended with like almost 20,000 ether from that, but we're, we're already running pretty much to zero. You go through it really quick. Uh, and this is me like not dying. Also, I was curious. I'm at nine layering keys already. I'm probably gonna be opening all of these up when I finally finish the Void Waker. It kind of as a nice treat. Okay, Master Clue. That is a welcome sight. A nice break from all this wilderness stuff. This is gonna be a good one. I can feel it. You know, 50 wine of zammies is not bad. And there it is. Another spindle task completed on a red spider egg drop. Beautiful. Since my last bear task, that has been three spider tasks. Two from Turiel, though. Hopefully we can uh, break the streak and get some bears. Actually, revs. I need those. <laughs> Please. Yes, there we go. I, I called it. <laughs> Very next task was revs. Um, I haven't had those in a while, so. 139. Um, I don't slaughter them anymore because I do the do the other spot, so. That is going to be a good amount of ether. Probably like five to 6,000. Oh, shit. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Dude, what the hell? I was not looking at my... Okay, let me just get this kill first, and then I'm out. Uh, is it another drop? Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a PKer too. It was a low level. He would not have been able to attack me, but I'm kind of dumb for sitting there. All right, Amulet of Avarice, actually pretty good. Um, that is a good drop. And <laughs> yet again, do not deserve these drops. What is my rep luck, man? What the hell? I'm not even scald right now. So, so for the drop rate of this, it's probably awful. It is probably so rare. So the drop rate of that Avarice was one in 3,253. Yeah, totally deserve, guys. Totally deserve. So the biggest thing about it is if you put it on, which I'm not going to do, um, it skulls you. So it's like a free skull. It's just the quality of life for that, I would say. I, that alone makes it so I'm probably not going to use it right now while I do these kind of kills. But in the future when I'm hunting the weapon specifically, this will be really nice. But uh, another benefit of the Avarice is it, it acts as a salve. So you get that bonus, but it has the stats of a glory. So... That should be a decent DPS buff, or at least your accuracy, um, especially pre-rev weapon. So uh, it's just a straight-up upgrade. And then another thing is I think it also, like, notes items that you get. Not all items, but, for example, like, I get four Battle Staff drop occasionally. That will be noted if I'm wearing the Avarice, so that's really convenient. But again, I'm doing non-Skull skull kills because I don't really want to lose my Web Weaver. So it will have uses in the future, but not right now. That is what I'm looking for. Just finished the rev task and immediately into the bear. So I'm ready to do another session tomorrow morning. Uh, surely that this is the day with the Void Waker, right? <laughs> surely. Not not the rare drop I'm looking for, but uh, yeah, we'll take another dragon pick. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, he didn't get a second one, man. Look at the drop. All right. Well, that drop has kind of settled now. I've uh, have accepted it. And uh, yeah, don't worry. I mean, if I if I sounded really salty in the moment, it, again, it was in the moment. I'm really happy for my friend. We actually decided on like an agreement. He's missing one item. I'm missing the hilt. We're going to keep doing the Callisto duos until we both finish our goals. So one of us won't be like left in the dust, I guess. And if anything, that is a big payday for him. He's He's gotten two now. So he's, he's making big boy money from this grind. I don't know which wilderness bosses these are from, but here we go. We're going to get some great loot. The elite is oh it's new black dehyde chaps trimmed, hell yeah easy collection log, and then the master is oh let's let's go for the back to back unique come on come on, damn it a lot of purple sweets though thirty two, well it happened I ran out of ether to use my wilderness weapons so I have to go farm up some more this time without Slayer 
Hopefully I don't have to stay too long. I got bears to kill. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even skulled. Brother. Granted, when you're skulled, uh, this drop rate of this one goes down. Like, when you're unskulled, it's the most common. This is actually the lowest one, I believe. 500k. But, uh, yeah. What is my rev lug? It just never stops. I just always get drops. Just gonna keep continuing for ether. I think that trip was one bracelet. Didn't really get that many. Yep. Still gotta keep going. I might try to go get, like, 10,000. How? How? <laughs> Brother, man. I'm speedrunning the log. <laughs> Four million emblem, uh, emblem, no medallion, that's the word. There you go. Can't even speak. I'm losing my mind. That is like the middle one. Yeah, the third best. Okay, another four mil in the bank. Damn, when we really do turn all these in, it's gonna be a big payday. Just got done with a quick session of Theater of Blood. Don't worry, didn't get anything. But just before that, I did the Revenants session and I uh, got up to 28 bracelets. And I don't know how much ether I like straight up profited, probably like 1500 or something, so. Let us dismantle all these bad boys. Beautiful, another 7,000 from those. I, I don't know how long I was there, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. It does kind of boggle my mind, like how quickly you go through these ether though. Like, it seems like, wow, I have so much right now. It's, it's gonna be gone in like a day. Now that I can use my bow, we went back to Callisto and my friend actually got his last item, greening the log. Soon after, I got absolutely piled by the entire population of New York City. Goodbye, 1500 ether. Love to see it. And, you know, I really wasn't in the greatest mood for this boss at this point. And this just further dampened my spirits. Big clue reward right here. Oh my god. I'm teleblocked though, so... I have to make it all the way down. I'm probably dead because I only have a brew left. I got out. <laughs> oh, I got out, bro. Unfortunately, the people I just escaped from found us again, and I wasn't so lucky this time. My dreams were shattered, and by this point, I was so done with Callisto. To tell you the truth, I wasn't enjoying myself. My friends already green logged, and we were really only continuing for my hilt drop, so the thought kind of just hit me. I can always just do this at the singles boss, Ardeo. And that way, if it drops, it goes to me. Because the last two went to my friend. What's to say the third one won't go to him as well? So with that, I did stop doing Callisto. And from now on, with all the bear tasks, I'm heading to RDO. And a heads up to clear any confusion. This whole video was before the changes they made to RDO, where you can actually use magic. It's actually viable. That was not an option when I recorded this. So your only real options were range and melee. Back to the clips. Okay, so I have been on this trip a while now. I got an elite clue, which is sick, but I ran out of freezes, um, I guess. So I'm going to just try the face tank prey melee strat, because uh, it turns out he doesn't really do that much damage. Um, I do want to position myself to where I'm kind of like in the middle, not towards a wall, because when he does his mage attack, he'll push me back. Um, if you hit a wall, you take a lot more damage. And, okay, I am kind of getting screwed up, but I have so much food. Look at how much food I have on the ground. So, I might just do this strategy for a couple kills, rather than banking. Um, that is nice that if you are just on an excess of food and you, like, run out of freezes, this is a strategy. Because he just doesn't do that much damage through melee prayer. Another thing I notice here, which is, I find really funny, is, okay, the fact that I was duoing Callisto, I was splitting the drops, right? Um, I'm killing this guy faster. Just keep that in mind. We're getting a lot more kills per hour. Probably 50% more kills overall than I was at Callisto. Um, the commons that I'm getting here are like only slightly worse than I would get in a duo split from Callisto. So I swear that I am getting pretty much the same commons per hour at Ardeo than I was at Callisto, which is kind of nuts to me. Because if you compare that to any of the other wilderness bosses, if you compare that to like Spindle versus Venonatus or whatever, the difference is absolutely drastic. There, There is no comparison. So, kind of weird. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, we'll take the tooth halves. I mean, but like, <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, another really cool. It's always a question. Do I Do I leave and do this so I have more chance of getting, you know more elites or do I 
not leave and <laughs> continue kills and not lose my world. It's always the dilemma. I am a clue scroll addict, so I'm probably going to leave. Uh, better, I guess. Right, I only got two more left on the task, and you can already tell I am in a different setup. All those kills I was doing with range where I would have excess food and I was praying melee and it was still working, it kind of gave me an epiphany. Uh, maybe I should look into the mace. So I did look at the DPS between this setup and the range setup, and this is only 2% worse. So it's practically the same, uh, but you are taking a ton of damage, right? My main motivator to change to this actually is the ether. Uh, I've definitely mentioned it several times. The crossbow is extremely expensive on the ether because it's a fast weapon. And it has a much lower average hit than the mace. So you just tend to use way more ether. And it worked out exactly like that. I'm pretty sure I'm using like 50% less ether per kill. And I'm sure the kills per hour are probably going to be very similar. I am banking more, but that's fine. Yo, let's go. That's why I'm here at RDO. Dragon pickaxes. Absolutely. All right. Another huge benefit to RDO. I, I know I'm just talking them up. But you literally cannot get Laren's keys at Callisto uh, as an iron if you are like doing it with someone else. Like the main account I was going with, he was getting Laren's keys occasionally. Uh, in my 900 kills, I didn't get any. So that is also another nice benefit. Yes, I am still on this task. We're at 95 kills and uh, this is my fifth elite. I, I don't know how many I've showed you because let's be real. Clue clips are just kind of uh, hit or miss, you know? Um, but I just can't believe it. We're just, <laughs> we're just getting so many. I'm farming the elite clue ranks. And, uh, oh, we got a master. Nice. I'm, I'm glad I turned on the recorder. You know, the loot sucked, but we got a master to do. Back in the day, the best rank I've ever had on this account was when I got 50 million cooking. And I got to, like, rank 61, I believe, which is kind of insane to me. I'm no longer even close to that anymore. Like, I am in ranks, especially for skills, are just, they're so hard now. But I do know that my elite clue rank, I think, might be my best rank now. And it's just because I have a ton of them. Oh, you know what? I think it's Clues Elite. That's what it is. Yeah, there we go. So I have 368 completed, and my rank is 268 for Iron Man. I, I believe currently that is my best rank. I might be forgetting something. I think before this entire wilderness grind, I was, like, well into the 300s. So I am... I'm really getting up there. I don't think... Uh, maybe one day, if I really go hard, maybe we can try to get to top page. I mean, I love Clue Scrolls. You guys know it, so... That could be fun. There are some methods out there where you basically only go for elite clues. So I could maybe try those at some point. Opening this master in like the most obscure location of all time. This is where Settle recorded some of his intros, didn't he? Huh. Give me the goods. Oh. Another dragon pickaxe. Second one from RDO so far. Are, are the drop rates bugged? Like... <laughs> Huh? Right, let me actually go to the, the wiki page. Like, I, I swear to God, Spindle was 1 in 100. Is RDO just higher? No, like, RDO is seriously 1 in 100 for an elite, and I have 6 now in 130. Oh, silly me. Sorry, I, I forgot. I am a, I'm an elite combat gamer, so it's actually 5% more common. So 1 in 95, you know, that, that still doesn't literally explain anything, but it, it, important. Holy. All right. So there was an eclectic like right here and I was running to the elite clue step all the way over there. So I had to run all the way around this hill to get it. I'm like, it's it's for the medium. And look at that. We got it. Always catch your eclectics. You never know if you're going to get another medium clue. Got them both done. Let's start off slow with the medium clue. And it is Garbo. Elite clue is also. I feel like I've had this item so many times. I guess it's only second one. That's the piece. Six bronze dragons. What the? Seven musket. This trip, I was trying out the Avarice method rather than just camping the Web Weaver, which is what I've been doing recently. Um, I've been doing that unscald on task just because I don't want to risk it. Uh, so definitely worse drop rate of the weapons, and it's just way faster kills. So I was just trying out the Avarice this time, um, and yeah, what a surprise, honestly. I did like a 30 kill trip in 10 minutes, so it's like 60% as effective as the crossbow method, but I'm getting 50% drop rates. So they kind of work out, I would say, on an hourly basis but you make more use out of your task is the way you want to look at it. Um, I'm also not spending ether to kill them, which is cool. Uh, it's probably still better ether an hour for the crossbow. But dude, I mean, I've mentioned it when I got the Avarice, but it notes drops. Everything that's like not noted becomes noted other than like the supply drops. So you can see this trip. It's just, it's so nice. 
Um, and probably the biggest thing is the noted food. Like when I was killing them before, it would be, it would just drop 15 mantas. I'm not going to be able to pick those up. So now I'm going to be like profiting food, which is going to be very important for the uh, face tank RDO method. So I'm mainly doing this so I can like try to get this Bamaron Scepter. The Web Weaver method was like 1 in 6,500. This method is 1 in 3,500. So a lot more likely. And it would just be so cool to have a weapon set. Also, being Scald increases the chances of the three other items. Just imagine greening the rev log, dude. Hold the phone. It's it's bot versus bot. That, that is not a real player. That is not a real player. I'm, I'm in the Matrix. There's another PK here. What is going on? No, let me get my loot, dude. No. I'm just trying to live my life. Just try. Okay, you're, you're going down, buddy. We're going to hit some bolt procs. Here we go. Here we go. Pot up. Pot up. Yeah, I'm dead. Immediately after the revenants, we got bears. So back to the RDO. <laughs> First kill, Laren's key. No complaints here. Actually the best drop in the game. Double food drop. Who needs a Void Waker when you can just get this? Another dragon pickaxe. I think that's literally like the third or fourth one I've gotten in the last like 24 hours. Someone is telling me to do like 200 million mining. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. So I've been here for what? 29 kills in a row. Uh, I've been getting literally everything I need, just consistently. I, I am low on prayer, though. I am down to one dose because I accidentally put two super stores in my looting bag. So this will probably be the last one, but like a 30 kill trip and two dragon pickaxes. I will take that. It's that time again. We're on the 50th task marker. So we're going to go and get a Konar task, get some bonus points. Please be quick. Abyssal Demons in the Slayer Tower. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Already a superior. I am going to be testing out the Arc Light. I do have a ton of charges. I think I have like 50 Ancient Shards in the bank. And I feel like you just use the Arc Light less nowadays. Wow. It's actually insane how they've gone up to 2 mil now. There was a time where they dipped below 900k almost. And it was just, it was a sad day. Sad day for the RuneScape community. Nice change of pace from all the elites. We got a uh, hard from the Abbey Demons. Yeah, let's stick to the elites. Right, because it's not a multiple of 100. It was only 300 points, but that's still good. A bit long, though. No way, no way, no way. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. So I during this revs task, I've just been doing... um, What's the word? I've just been doing the fours over there. But I've just been doing one night kill on the way because you pass a night. Just as like, oh, cool. We'll do one night every time. <laughs> I get the best relic. What the fuck? 16 million big ones. I just got here. <laughs> Let me go to the Revenants. The only one I'm missing now is the two mil, which I, I think is like kind of like in the middle of the drop rates. I might be wrong. Maybe it depends on the rev. I'm not sure. But like that is absolutely achievable, I think, right? It's crazy. How much are these statuettes together right now? About 30 mil when I turn it into the guy. So damn. Huh? Bro, I did one kill. One singular lizard kill for my Turial task, and I got the Mystic Glow. I forgot that wasn't even a thing. Yo, all right, that was totally worth it. Slayer. I guess I never got that. <laughs> you know, when I, years ago, I wanted to collect all the Mystic pieces, and then the, uh, the Dusk ones came out, and it kind of just put a stopper in that plan. But I still want to get it eventually, so that, that's cool. I forgot that these guys dropped it, so yay. <laughs> Another collection log two in like 10 minutes. All right, I don't know how many skips that took, but we did get another bear's task. So we are returning to RDO. This one will be putting us past 300 kills. It's not a Void Waker piece, but I will always be happy with a Larian's key. Why? <laughs> did, he, did the bot misclick me? Is that what happened? This is the bot, like I'm pretty sure. I, I don't really understand what's going on. I'm just banking. Oh my god! What? What the fuck was that? Lucky, lucky man. I mean, I, I did, in fact, turn off my prayer to melee because Callisto was going to, or RDO was going to fuck me up, but like, I didn't expect him to immediately hit a 59. Like, <laughs> that is so sad. I mean, good on him, I guess. He's just better than me. I forgot that I'm actually risking Dragon Defenders, so that's unfortunate. I lost my 
we have so many extra dragon boots, but I did lose Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Defender, or Dragon Defender and Dragon Boots, so. And 1,500 Ether. So it was, it was a pretty big loss, honestly. Man made the absolute bank, but we do have extra Dragon Defenders. I just really hope we don't have to go back and, like, farm those. That is not what I want to see. Ugh. Okay, let's get it straight. <laughs> the Void Waker piece is rarer than this item, but, like, they're approximately the same rarity, you know? So, oh. That's the second one. It was my first unique over during the Callisto grind, so you don't see that drop very often, but 60 Toad Flex, that's so nice. That's a pretty good unique normally. It's actually worth a lot, but I've had like two or three, I think. Bam, I now have two in the bank, just like the chain. That's gonna look so nice when I get like 50. <laughs> Let's go. That's what I wanna see. <laughs> oh my God, yes, yes. Sorry, I am currently watching Harry Potter and it's very loud in my ear. I'm gonna go mute it. The only way to get through the wilderness grind is watch movies for the 80th time. Okay, I was really confused. I looked at the, the chat and I saw gold ore and then I saw the pop-up and I'm like, what is going on? What did I get? That is so sick. I got my first wilderness pet. Where, where is he? Hello? Call? There we go. The Venonatus Spiderling. Oh, all right. Well, I was excited. I was hoping that uh, during all of this Void Waker uh, grinding, I would at least walk out with one of the pets, right? Like, that was definitely one of my hopes. And realistically, if you if you go average on all the pieces, you should walk out with one of them. So I, I'm pretty happy. That is sick. Um, I would say out of the three bosses, it's probably my least favorite pet, but I really don't care because it's still pretty cool. We could green log this uh this boss um i do need the treasonous ring and then obviously the void wicker piece so now i'm actually crossing my fingers that we get the ring before the gem and that means that this will be green log oh there's a metamorphosis option what what changes hold on oh it goes to the old model that's right I, you know i i kind of forget that the the wilderness bosses did get changed a little bit like ever so slightly like, it's so similar that I really didn't notice on release, but I, I guess that is how Venonatus used to look. Weirdly enough, I think in some ways the old one is a little bit better. Um, I don't really like the egg sack on his butt, but, you know, I'm happy. And as per usual, let's plop it into the house so I can just every now and then see it crawl around. That is such a good drop. Yes, let's go, a dragon pickaxe. You know, I that was that was almost like a side eye. I wasn't really even looking, so I saw the beam, and for a split second, I thought it was the Void Waker piece. I should have known though, because it was it was bright green. You know, that's color of money, color of dragon pickaxe. We'll take it though. That is number five from Spindle specifically, which is kind of crazy. We are getting way too many of them. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. That might have been the smoothest spider session I've ever had. I mean, even with banking and honestly taking it pretty chill, I got, I ended with 45 kills an hour for that entire 93 session. So about two hours for the task. Um, okay, we just profit a lot of food, nice. Only the dragon pick to write home about, but we are at 700 kills now. So getting really close to the rate of the Void Waker. Gonna probably be hitting that in a day or two. I just realized I could have stayed longer. Oh well, whatever. Gonna do this elite clue and then gotta get a new task. I have never seen something so beautiful in my life. An absolute maximum bear's task. Literally my last bear's task, I believe, or one of my recent ones was 99. So I think the game is telling me to finish Ardeo. All right, we have to lay it to rest. This is it, man. Also um, with this ginormous adventure that I'm about to do, I think this is a great time to try something I've been meaning to try out. Like. I was discussing this uh, with my friends ever since my first task. Enter the Blood Fury. So, you know, recently I did, uh, you know, camp uh, several hundred hours over at the uh, Vires. And I have so many Blood Furies. I mainly got those for Nex and TOA. That's where I'm going to use the vast majority of them. But uh, I did the math. I would assume I'd be using like 10 charges of the Blood Fury every RDO kill. And because the mace absolutely shreds, I'm going to be getting massive heals, right? And I'm literally just limited by how much damage I take there because uh, I'm doing the face tanking method. I think this is going to be a really good investment. So I, if, if it is like 10 charges per kill, because you only use a charge when you hit, it would like going on rate for the Void Waker would only be one Blood Fairy, which I think is, that's a fair trade. You know, we'll see if it's good though. If, if I don't notice a huge difference, I'll subtract to the torture. 
But uh, it also only lowers my max hit by one. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Um, I actually get a little bit more prayer too. I don't think that really matters, but I think this is gonna be a good idea. I just got attacked by this guy um, last trip. I I gapped him, but I was under the impression that I'd be good to go. He waited for me. Oh my god, dude. And he tally blocked me immediately, so I have to hope that I get gap, which is probably not going to happen. Wait. What? How did I not die? How did I not die? What? All right, my world has just changed. Someone just told me that I can right-click settings on my looting bag. Always store as many as possible. Every time I was depositing shit in the bag, I would have to press all in the chat box. That's so good. All right, so I've been using an alt account this entire time while doing uh, like the wilderness bosses, right? And uh, I just tagged this guy as he ran in. He died to Ardeo and it counts as my PK. <laughs> That's so funny. I literally just love tapped him while he ran in. <laughs> it's mine. I can't take any of it. No, I lost the world. Wait, hold on. No, I lost the world. Oh, I'm such a dumb. Oh, okay. I was expecting another Garbo trash reward, but we got a mimic. Not common from elites. Wow. I don't know how many tasks that took, but another Turiel Bears task. It's like we're never going to be able to do Spindle again. No shot. I just got the last statuette. Being on task doesn't matter for that, but being unscalled lowers the drop rate um, significantly. So, okay then. Yeah, I, my, my rev luck continues. I have absolutely insane revenants luck what is this every single ancient statuette no duplicates across the board i i i don't know what to tell you i that is that stupid man <laughs> that is not what i want to keep seeing okay now i'm happy again all is right in the world <laughs> very next trip another one dude today is my day okay we got a master gonna have to take a break that's a lot of onyx bolts 600k, you really can't be mad. Oh my, okay, so this is actually the um, the third elite I've gotten today. But um, the first one I got, like right when I got on, um, I got PK'd at the end of my trip. It was like a 17 kill trip. You know, I didn't record it, unfortunately, but I, I lost 17 kills worth of loot. It was pretty sad. And of course I lose the ether, but yeah, I dropped an elite there. So it's kind of making up for it. Got another one to do. Well, you can see in the chat, we, we had to do a skull ball to finish up the clue, so... Oh, man. And, yeah, it certainly was not worth it. Oh, my God. Dude, we were literally just moping around five seconds ago in my chat, talking about how dry I am. And we get the Callisto Cup, dude! I have two out of the three wilderness pets. Holy shit. Let's go. I'm out of here. <laughs> woo -hoo! I mean, I don't know about nowadays, because there's a lot of pets um, out, but, like... When I came to old school, this was my favorite pet. They did redesign Callisto or Ardeo. So this is like his current form, I think. So let's go back to the old one. So you can see it's a little different. I think like the main difference is his head got bigger, I guess. And I, he's a little more cartoony. But I'm going to be honest. I think I like the new one more. I think the new one looks better. Again, this is massive because I am guaranteed, once I finish the Void Waker, to green this log. We're, we're going to get a green log. For one of these uh these bosses. The um the Vendonatus one from earlier is still up in the air because I, I could just not get the ring. There's a high chance we green this. And if anything, I can try to green it. So holy moly, dude. That's this is making it worth it. Like I have a lot of kills here. A thousand Callisto, 950 duos is what we did. And now 700 Ardia. We're really getting up there. I know the the clips are kind of pretty sparse, but we we're just constantly doing this boss. <laughs> This is my second pet this week. I'm turning into a pet hunter. Okay, now I'm actually kind of sad. Uh, <laughs> none of my friends are online right now. <laughs> it's just me and myself. They didn't even get to see the broadcast. Oh, I'm so lonely. That is the task over. Um, so yeah, very successful. But I will say, I don't know what happened. This happened at Spindle recently where the bots just kind of suddenly disappeared. And I'm pretty sure it's because Jagex like, banned a wave of them. Because last time I did bear... Man, it was just constant bots every single world. And then today, most worlds are empty. And I swear to you, I've seen maybe four bots in the entirety of like the 100 kills I did. So this is the time to be doing wilderness content, dude. There's just no bots. It's awesome. Well, that was relatively quick. We got a Turiel bear. 
First kill of the task. Get a dragon pickaxe. Yep, I knew it. That was the 10th dragon pick as well. Double digits. Not seen that in a while. A full 100 spiders. This is the one. This is the one we get the Void Waker gem. I'm sure of it. That'll be for tomorrow, though. Got the treasonous ring. I'm like seven kills into the task. That is so nice. We now are guaranteed to green the log just like Callisto when I get the Void Waker. That is so s We're gonna have two green logs in the wilderness. Absolutely useless ring. Uh, this one is the stab one. So it, it gives like the best in slot stab bonus in the game and that's it. So pretty garbage. Uh, who knows if that'll ever be useful. The only way I see this being useful is if they release a weapon that uses stab that you only need to hit, like for a spec or something. You know, like a dragon warhammer, but for stab. That is the only way this will ever be useful in the game. Um, maybe one day. Hold on, I actually might just straight up lose this ring. I didn't teleport in time. Oh god. I hit him. He has to walk. He has to walk. The mace light might let me out. Let's go! I'm gonna get gap. Yo, the mace is so good! Damn, that is the first time the mace actually worked. Every other time I've attacked someone with it, it misses. And maybe, did I hit him on robes? Is that what happened? What is that? 55,000? Just like the toad flax at Ardeo, this is what you're looking for. At Spindle, 60 Snapdragons. I think I'm at, uh, I'm at like 400 now. Oh, look at the chat box. They want me to make some restores. <laughs> I promise I will stop recording this for another one. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Yeah, that's the final strop. <laughs> Onyx Bolts, I'm banking. I have like a mil in my inventory right now. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a teleport on me. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I accidentally put it in my looting bag too. Okay, sorry, my fan was going. It's like a billion degrees in my room. It was probably really loud in the background, but uh, let's deposit it. Look at him. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Gem, there we are. Void Waker gem. Let's plop that in the trophy tab. Oh, dude, finally, finally we get a piece of this weapon. And of course, the Venonatus log is greened. That's pretty spooned. Yeah, 800 to get the whole log. Pretty close to rate on the Void Waker gem, at least. So, did work for that. Very, very solid. I'm done with Spider. I don't have to do it anymore. To give context, I've been working on this grind pretty much every single day for a little over three weeks now. Uh, ever since I got that first Revenant's task. So, took that long to get my first Void Waker piece. We are still pretty dry over at Callisto. Hoping for that one soon. Um, but yeah, that just leaves this boss and Vedion, which I haven't even started yet. Going forward, this is going to be an interesting change. Uh, I no longer need spiders, right? So uh, when I'm getting tasks from Crystalia, I'm hunting bears and revs. So it will be rarer. I'm going to have to be doing more Turiel skipping. And then every time I get spiders now from Turiel, I'm obviously not doing them at the boss. So there's a bunch of them over at the ham hideout. I just did a task of those pretty quick. And I also remembered... Here is the loot that I got from Spindle. Uh, those red spider eggs, 6750, just sitting in my bank now. So whenever I want to, I can go make a bunch of super restores. So nice to have them. We're gonna get a nice collection log right here with my lobster friend. <laughs> okay, we're, we're no longer friends. 912 RDO KC. I am officially at the drop rate, but I've already done so much Callisto, so I am actually pretty dry. At least I'm still enjoying it. Probably gonna get to quad digits though. Starting the day of bear with an elite clue and a master. Eh, 50 wines, 1,000 RDO. This guy's gonna try to steal the world. Nope, he left. Wait, yeah. This guy's trying to steal the world. I'm not gonna let him have it. This is the strategy I try to use and it worked this time, nice. So I'll, I'll get like the earliest click doing that. Generally, I have met the greatest player in the game. I, I think that is a black chain body, uh, unless I cannot tell. No clue what he is wearing. Wait, oh, he almost didn't get out. <laughs> what was I watching? Dude, the, the type of people you find here is so funny. I just love the conversation too. Hi, howdy, what? <laughs> what the? Can someone explain to me what that means? <laughs> 
Did I say something wrong? All right, another change for the bear task. So I've, I don't know how many I've done today. I think I've done like maybe 70 kills today. Um, but you know, like I said, now that I'm only really doing bear tasks and revs, it's taking a lot longer to get the task material. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start using bracelets to slaughter. I, I wasn't using it before cause you know, I, I had multiple bosses to go for. Should help a lot. I'm gonna use it as a flick though. Like at the end of the kill, not worth using it the whole kill. You have to see this. I, I have been doing so many hours of wilderness bosses, and I have never seen so much food on the ground. <laughs> it, like, I am spending more time juggling than actually, like, attacking the boss. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, those those nine dark crabs right there are literally going to despawn if I don't grab them. Like, I have to make sure I grab them. Look at this. I have a buffet. All you can eat. Oh, I thought I had more charges. Hold on. The Amulet of Fury has degraded. It is now a normal Amulet of Fury. If that doesn't, like, show how much I've been doing this boss, oh my god. We started, um, whenever I made that clip, uh, I think it was maybe in the 300s or whatever. I had 8,000 charges. And if I remember correctly, it was, like, anywhere between 10 to 12 charges per kill or something like that. So, damn. We really did almost go through a full Blood Fury already. <laughs> Still no hilt, man. I believe the Blood Fury can hold three Blood Shards, so let's just plop in three. There we go, 30,000 charges. If I used all of that at RDO, I'd be well over like 4,000 kills. So yeah, let's hopefully that lasts uh, before I'm done. That is actually the first Longbone in all of these RDO. That's crazy. Huh? Come on, man. When I said I only had one in a thousand-ish kills, I, I didn't mean another one, all right? You know, you can you can keep them. You can keep them, Mario. I don't want your bone. No shot did I just get the Thamron Scepter. That's insane that I... How? I've now gotten all three weapons. No duplicates. I'm, o I'm literally only missing the Ancient Crystal. That's it. Uh, and I will have the, the green log from Revenants. That's actually amazing. So, um... I was thinking about like in the future, you know, like the Laren's key grind, which I'm getting some of them uh, right now. But um, if you go for that grind specifically, you definitely want a Thamron Scepter. It's amazing. And then also just miscellaneous things in the wilderness, like uh, say Scorpia. It's amazing to have this weapon. But even further, uh, when you upgrade this from the skull from Vedion, it actually becomes a really good weapon in PVM. It has a really interesting special, but I think we'll uh, talk about that more when I get the Skull of Vedion. I think it would make a little bit more sense. So it has been a long time since I've done a Konar task. Uh, I will admit, I think the last like two or three times I hit the 50 threshold, I just forgot <laughs> and just kept on skipping. So uh, I remembered this time. So we're going to do a Konar task. Hopefully it's not too bad. Bloodveld's in the Mire Ditch. Oh, that's actually good. Well, this was definitely a pleasant surprise. Task over, I killed 108. Thank you, Expeditious Bracelet. I, I've heard how good these are, but yeah, th these are crazy. Like, I'm not even using the Venator Bow, which is really good here. And I'm, I was getting 65k Slayer an hour without superiors. Like, that's insanely good. But of course, we were here for the points. We got another 500. Man, I'd be at, like, well over 3,000 points if I remembered to do the other tasks. Not another Tyrannical Ring. All right, that's number four. Dead. Oh my god, 1,500 bear kills. God, that's so cool. Totally not sarcastic right now. Ooh, that's new. Fremen and Kilt. Oh wait, no, it's not new. Oh, I got baited by the clan message. It's just, it's worth a lot. No. You know, it is like three mil death cost. I can't really be too mad about that. If you add the Callisto duos that we did and this KC, we are officially three times the rate of the Void Waker Hilt. So, yay. Uh, as long as I get it before four times, we're all good, right? That'll be like 2,400 kills. I'm still motivated. Okay, so I have been tutorial skipping for like over an hour right now. I'm going really dry. And then I get another bear's task. But it was 16. I haven't had one from Crystalia in like four or five tasks. It's, it's pretty heartbreaking. From Crystalia herself, I'm probably like four times plus dry on getting a task. But, uh, whatever. We're gonna get this one done really quick. That could literally be, like, one trip if it goes really well. And then we're just gonna have to skip again. Woo! I'm trying to steal this bot's world, and he just gets a dragon peg out. That means he banks, right? 
Surely he doesn't stay with the dragon pick. Yay! Yeah, he teleported. Perfect. I'm actually happy he got a dragon pick in front of me. Free world for me. Well, I wasn't really paying attention, but hey, Clouds of Callisto. Funnily enough, that's the first one I've gotten from Ardia in 1,600 kills almost. Maybe this clue will make up for all my misery and torment Bear is subjecting me to. No, the, the anguish never ends. <laughs> what do you mean? You have a funny feeling you would have received... Wait, 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 wait. Did I get a champ scroll? Was that... Oh, that must have been during Bandos. And I got the uh, the goblin scroll. Okay, well, not the message I was expecting during this grind. The rare guy doing the melee method just like me. Love to see it. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even see it. Are you joking me? No. No. I didn't... Ah. So this was not... This was not me coming into a world... Seeing a bot get a hilt. This bot stole my kill. So, like, I was doing my trip. He comes in and yoinks the kill. That happens all the time here. I've shown it before. So, I had to go bank. And then I came back. And he gets the hilt. I know that's not how life works. It's not like I would have gotten the hilt if I got the kill. But, like, bro. Ah, just paid the guy's rent. <laughs> Fuck me. Man, I was I was just about to finish the task and I was gonna make a clip. Wow, I haven't seen PK airs all day, and then I just get absolutely railed. No sweat off my back. Ruins of Mora. Wow. Hermaeus Mora. What's everyone's favorite uh Daedric Prince? There's only wrong answers. I actually don't even know what my favorite is. Alright, I need to pick me up from that death. The downward spiral continues. Man. That's literally the worst message I can see, dude. Like, <laughs> stop it. I'm just gonna, like, stop reacting to these drops. It is what it is. You just take it. You just take it in stride. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna, like, repress these memories and be like, oh my god, I have 17 tyrannical rings? No way! Nice to get out of the cave for a little while, uh, but we're going right back in now. I, I, okay, you know, to be fair, I am getting a lot of drops today, so that is some positive, right? We're, we're getting some, we're getting some stuff. We got the pet today, the ring, another claws. Fourth time's the charm, right? Brother, man, <laughs> this is still the same day. You're gonna get me a third age right here. Thank you, appreciate it, boom. I don't see third age, what happened here? What happened? What? I killed a superior, killed a single banshee, and got another one. <laughs> Back-to-back -back Banshee Superiors, great. That was like a one in a million for the heart. Did, in fact, get a master clue from the last elite. I'm feeling something, I, I'm feeling, oh! Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, I was so confused, guys. I was like, wait, 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 wait. How is the new collection log an occult kit? I already have this. I was like, every synapse in my brain was firing at once, trying to figure out how this was a new slog, or clog. Not slog. What even is that? Um, the old demon mask is new. Okay, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> I thought I had this. Is this all the demon masks? Hold on. I was definitely right. Two uniques, one of them being new, and this one's actually a pretty fire unique as well. Oh, I'm still missing the jungle demon mask, and then we have every single one. That's so sick. No way. Yes! Yes! It's over! It's fucking over! Oh my god. I knew it was gonna happen today. I just, in the back of my mind, I had a feeling. It just felt like the day. <laughs> we did not hit the 2k kills. Oh, 1997. So over two times right, RDO, it was like... Well, let me do some quick maths. Wow, that actually, that's, that's kind of funny, so... If you add up my RDO KC and the fact that I did uh, around 950 duo Callistos, approximately three and a half times dry for this hilt. Boom. It's greened. Yet another greened boss log. That's the final spoils. Six rings. I think five of them from RDO. Weirdly enough, I only got three dragon pickaxes total from RDO in like 2,000 kills, so that's interesting. It's done. I will never have to go back to this boss ever again. There will probably never be a time I do this boss on this account. That looks so good. Two out of three, man. All that's left is 
the big skeleton, the spooky skeleton. I have actually not done like any of it. As you can see, these three Vedion kills were way back in the day, I think for a diary. So I don't know why I did two extra ones, but yeah, we have three. So this is going to be brand new for me. Um, I have only really heard good things about this one uh, as opposed to RDO and Spindle. So um, the plan is we're going to be doing Calvarion most likely. Uh, because now that we green the other two logs, I I want to continue that trend. And Calver the the single bosses is are more efficient for the pet. So if I'm going to go for the log, it's better to do Calvarion. It's going to be way better than Bear and uh, Spindle. Because I do not need to be on Slayer Task anymore. You just use the Sav Amulet. And uh, we don't have to use a Blood Fury anymore. Which, thankfully, it worked out. I used almost exactly two Blood Furies. Was that worth it? Probably not. But it made the grind a lot more enjoyable. So I'm glad I did it. And we're still sitting at 7 left and 18,000 charges, so we're good. Now, you're probably wondering how the commons looked at uh, RDO. Callisto and RDO definitely have the worst of the commons out of the three, but it's not by bad by any means. I mean, look at this. We got 200 Ranar Seeds, 140 Snaps, a lot of runes, and because I was meleeing, they were all profit, so that's great. And then 28 Elite Clues, which I was really lucky on. I was only supposed to get 20. But yeah, just really saw the loot all around considering I was here for so long. Another cool thing about this grind, I'm sure this this will change in the future as I'm not going to continue it, but the final Iron Man Ardia rank I got was 171. Which is pretty nuts because I think my spindle was... Yeah, spindle was only 700. So I think as it stands right now, that might be one of my better ranks that I have. The gear setup is going to change. This is what we're going to be bringing to Calvarion, which is kind of interesting. I think this is min-maxing my strength bonus with the least amount of risk and not using Traver Parchments because I don't have any. So, very odd looking, but this is going to be good. Oh my god, that, that scared the crap out of me. I was like, no way, no way, did we get something? <laughs> it's just a hard combat task. I forgot, yeah, like I said, we had, we had three Betty on. So, they go together. Uh, Ten kills total. Next one's at 20. I was quaking in my boots when I saw that. <laughs> Damn it. No more troll pop-ups. We got the 20 total kills. The Vedion uh, combat achievements are done. That's literally it for the wilderness bosses. I, I think it would be cool for them to like eventually add like actual mechanic ones. I mean, they're not hard bosses, but like it is just kind of odd that they're just kill count. Okay, I'm, I'm having such a wonderful trip. I think this one probably was like 20, but I'm like running out of run. Um, For now, I might like add a stamina to the setup because... I'm not efficient with the movement. You can definitely do this without losing run. But another reason I want to bank is I got three Sanfu Serum drops. Don't want to risk those. That is actually insane. This is just from one inventory. Look at the supplies. They also drop wine of Zamis too. So they literally drop two really good herb secondaries. Um, this one you don't get from any content. And then this one you really only get from raids and KQ. So it's always good to stock those. And then, yeah, Sanfu. Like, it, this boss is just stupid. It is such a nice... Breath of fresh air over Ardia. But we're going to keep going. 42 kills. I haven't spooned the Void Waker Blade yet. This game's... Yes, the first drop. Ring of the Gods. I was just staring at my check chat box. Just silently. I was expecting a beam. And it was Ring of the Gods. It's funny. Woo. All right. One out of three. Done. One out of three. Um, This one actually is kind of nice. It still has a lot of uses. So the Ring of the Gods is a pretty unique ring in that it is very good prayer bonus. So I have 18 right now. 22. So um, you can imbue it as well. So it goes up to 8. Um, wait, it gives defenses too? Okay, very minor, whatever. Um, but it's it also has the Holy Wrench effect. So like the same thing as like the Prayer Cape, the Max Cape. It gives that effect as well. So for like long-term AFK grinds... It is actually a very useful ring to have. I I am kind of hyped to have this, man. I'm glad this is the first one to get to, because, like, it's slightly rarer than the skull. So, on the way to the Void Waker, we got, like, the harder one to get. So, I do want to get all three, honestly, before I uh, before I leave this boss. Do I have Nightmare Zone points? That is the question. Let us check. <gasps> it's enough, dude! The hard combat achievements coming in clutch. Imbue. Nice. I actually really like how it looks. Becomes really yellow, but yeah, you can see eight prayer bonus, and I guess the defenses. That's so weird. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's definitely niche, but um, there are surely grinds where that will be useful. I haven't recorded in a bit. Two hundred and fifty kill count. So that's crazy. It took me like 
I don't know when the last time I got Sanfu Serums. Probably like 100 kills ago. But we just got back to back. But yeah, we are... Uh, I don't really... There's really not much to record here, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's... You barely see PKers as well. I mean, like, I think... I would say this place probably has the second most PKers. I think Spindle still has the most. RDO has the least, I feel like. But in terms of bots, there just aren't any. I've seen, like, one bot the entire day today. So it's really easy to find worlds. Generally, the worlds are just empty, so I'm loving it compared to RDO. Last time I did revs, we got the Thamron Scepter, right? Haven't really been back since, and I we ended up with 22,000 ether, which was great. I thought it would last me for the remainder, but we had just spent so long at RDO that, uh, look at it, we're, we're down to 200 ether left, and that's before putting stuff in my weapon. So I'm literally down to 200 left in the weapon. That's not even enough for, like, 15 Kavarion, so... Unfortunately, we do have to, you know, take a quick break from the Wilderness Bosses, and I gotta go do some revs. You know it's a great Revenant's trip when you walk out with 1 million GP in the bag. I've actually been, like, struggling getting these bracelets. I've, I've had, like, two or three trips back-to-back -back with not many, but this one was eight, so good turnaround. You know, not the crystal, but hey, that's an eight mil... Statuette. Okay. More money, more money. Ancient Totem. Not a great one, but it is a million GP. Okay, abrupt ending. I'm in the middle of the Rev Caves right now. Um, I just escaped from a PKer. I got the, uh, the gap and logged out, but I guess I was going to go through the entire trip, but it was almost over anyway. Man, it this is like we have time traveled. It's been like I've been doing revs today for like five or six hours. It has been a lot. So, let's see the final spoils. Did I get any bracelets this trip? Oh, we got four. Perfect. So, we're good. We're good. Remember, we were at zero. Literally zero today. And now we have a bunch. Oh my god, I'm after, I have so many. I gotta do multiple inventories. Suffering from success. There we are. 16,000 ether just from the... Bracelets, and that puts us over 20,000. Feels good. Feels good. That is a lot of Calvarion. I mean, th that is more than the drop rate. So, like, well over 1,000 kills. I don't actually know how much that'll turn out to be. Especially, it could be lower if I die. I plopped it into my looting bag too quick. But that was the first Ranar we drop. Um, just like the other bosses, they drop, like, a big stack of herbs. Also, 500 kills. More than halfway to the right. The first unique in forever, man. The dragon pickaxe. All right, we, we probably should bank. <laughs> we probably should bank. Uh, you know, when I was thinking of the potential, what could happen, that is... That's, that didn't come to mind. A second ring of gods. Hey, it looks cool on the ground, but... Damn it. However, at least uh, good news is today, I mean, I think I started with like 460 kills, and it is just, it's a Saturday right now, so you would expect it to be pretty busy, a lot of PKers and shit, but the limiting factor for my trips have just consistently been my ether, so that, that's a great sign. Yeah, we stayed a couple more kills. That was 29 kill trip before the ether ran out. And look how much supplies we still have. I might start bringing just like 100 extra ether, just for these kind of trips. Okay, I'm just banking at Ferox, and I just see so many skulls. Is there a PvP event going on right now? I'm so scared I'm hopping. The big 600. This one is 400 completed. I'm not expecting anything, but like, hey. At least it's over 100k, right? Whatever. Yet another unique, again, not a good one, but that is unique number four, I suppose. We're catching up, because we were very behind. Another one. The Skull of Edeon. Oh, man, I really wanted that first. Okay, I mean, I have a shit ton of food on the ground, but, like, I don't want to lose that. I'm going to bank. It's worth so little, I'd lose it. No matter what, I wanted to get all three of the uniques before I left, and it would be kind of awkward to get the the Void Waker piece and then have to continue still to do it for, for this item. But not too bad, but, yeah, this is just like the other items from the other bosses where they upgrade the Revenant weapons. And it creates the Accursed Scepter. And um, it has two versions. This is the Accursed Scepter. And uh, let me swap it to the other version. And it's purple. So I, I don't actually know which one's which. But um, one is the autocast version. I guess, I guess this one. Uh, so it allows you to autocast normal like spells and stuff. Um, and get the boost. So this is extremely good for bursting in the wilderness for like Laren's keys like during wilderness layer it's amazing you can barrage for so much damage 
And then the other version is just kind of like a trident. You know, it's like an intrinsic spell and it's extremely strong. So amazing at like something like Scorpia. So yeah, I was waiting for this item. Um, get the upgrade because the Thamron Scepter is kind of whatever. It also has a spec just like the other ones. And this one actually is one of the better specs in the game now. It lowers the target's magic and defense levels by up to 15%. And that's very important because if you don't know, someone's magic defense, including the character... A lot of it is from the magic level. I think it's like 70%. I don't know if that's the same as and same for NPCs, but um, what you can do is you can use this on something like Zolra, and then you will have huge accuracy buff to mage. Um, it's kind of like a Dragon Warhammer for mage. So yeah, very nice to have that in my arsenal. And now I have all three Revenant weapons completed. Look at that in the inventory. The Ursine Chain Mace, the Web Weaver Bow, and the Accursed Scepter, all complete. That is so sick. Wow. Back to back into Ranar Weeds on 666. I'm scared. Well, that puts me up to 712, which doesn't seem that interesting. But I started today with 462. So I have done officially 250 of this boss in one sitting. Oh my god. It has been over seven hours. I'm losing my mind. Number three from the boss. Hey, that was... I, I'm actually so glad I get to record this. Dragon pickaxe. First kill of the trip. But more more importantly, I just come in here. This guy has the funniest haircut in the world. And he just lets me have the world. Just have a nice conversation. So wholesome, man. Rare to find that in the wilderness. Oh, my recorder wasn't turning on. Hey, another dragon pickaxe. Welcome to the first episode of Fun Facts with Nublet at Calvarion. Did you know that this tomb right here... Glows a different color based on the phase of Calvarion. Isn't that really cool? Like, he's not alive right now, so it's blank. And now we spawned, and it's purple. Wow. And if we phase the boss... If, if my mace decides to hit... He phased. It should change color. Oh my god. No way. It is orange now. You're welcome, and I will see you guys in the next episode. 912, Casey. We hit it. That's the drop rate officially passed good to know we didn't we didn't really get lucky on any of them <laughs> Ooh. oh i was trying to figure out what was the new item the monocle i've never gotten a monocle before all right that was such a quick master i'm gonna wait for my poison to proc and then we can uh open the clue oh my lord why couldn't you be like the elite 30 purple sweets though what the heck willy wonka i'm actually curious i don't actually know how many we have when did we pass 5,000? <laughs> did I do that recently? 46 million gold. Yeah, I mean, this is still like one of my favorite tabs of all time. Uh, I don't know why I've kept it, but yeah, just seeing all the pages like past finishing the book stack up is just really cool. It's just too bad they're so cheap. Who remembers when like you'd get a Zami page clue and you get like a mill? I miss those days. Oh, I was getting distracted, but we passed 1,000 Casey. I'm more sad than happy. 11, 11, Casey. I want to take some time out of your day to just appreciate this guy. Look at him. He is so much better at the game than me. I think it's been a while since I've gotten a unique, so we will take that. Dragon pickaxe number four. Man, that is a welcome sight. It has been forever since I've had a uh, Ranar drop. Probably like, I shit you not, maybe like 800 kills, something like that. That's crazy. I've only had five of those 60 Ranar drops. In this entire 1300, it's, I think they're 1 in 128, if I had to guess. So I should have double how much I have. I felt the same way at uh, Ardeo. I got I got less of the Toad Flax drops than I deserved. At least he's been really good on these Sanfus. We just recently broke 300 bank. Oh my god, we got it! <laughs> yes! It's done! That came out of nowhere. Alright. <laughs> I'm kind of in shock right now. I'm, I'm not. I'm not expecting this. Oh my god, 1347. I was I was committed. I thought we were going to go into like 3,000 kills for this thing. Holy moly. Alright, this comes at such a great time. Because let me just show you this. I'm at 200 ether. And then like a little bit in my mace. Like I was literally about to record. Oh boy, I'm out of ether. I got to go do revs for like 6 hours tonight. I actually don't know where I'm going. I'm pretty sure it's down here. It's in the Ferox Enclave. Alright, nice. When I, when I saw people making this blade... 
like back when it came out, I I thought this looks like the Rev Caves. I thought you had to build it in the Rev, Rev Caves, and I was really scared. <laughs> but yeah, this is a safe area. It's just under Ferox, so. Um, Madam Sakaro. I have these parts of a weapon. So you gotta bring the three parts and 500k. Yes, we have it. Oh, I've been dreaming of this item for so long. This is easily probably the longest grind I've ever done in RuneScape. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thankfully, Kaveran wasn't too bad. It, it could have been much worse, but I didn't spoon any of them. This was definitely a grind and a half. I will say it is like one of the most underwhelming looking weapons. Kind of wish it looked different. It, lo it looks like an, uh, a Wilderness Elite 4 sword. I'm going to be real with you, but it's iconic at this point. It's such a good item. Alrighty, so why did I spend so much time getting this weapon? Now, um... During the time I streamed this, so many people were confused. They kept on asking, why are, are you getting a Void Waker? Like, are you doing PvP? Like, all you need to know is this item is extremely good outside of PvP. It's not just a PvP weapon. It's extremely good in PvM. Uh, it's kind of like a counterpart to Claws. Essentially, if you're using DPS specs, it's either going to be Claws or Void Waker. That's how it works. So, 50% spec energy, it deals guaranteed magic damage it will always hit no matter what as long as the enemy isn't immune to magic anywhere from 50 percent to i think 150 percent your max hit so let's check what the max hit is with just generic best of slot melee gear that i have obviously i'm missing some upgrades but um i'm guessing it'll be in the 70s boom 75 so the average hit is 50 and you can say the average is 50 no matter what because you always hit the two main content that i'll benefit the most from this weapon are Nex. It's so good at Nex, and I really want to continue. I've done 28 kills. I don't know how much I've recorded it, but that's only like two sessions. I really want to do this boss. All the items are really, really nice. And then the other place is Tombs of a Masket, which I've kind of taken a break from. Uh, we ended with that Fang, and I <laughs> kind of burnt me out, I'm going to be honest. I don't really like this content, so the Void Waker is going to really help here. It's super good at a lot of the rooms. Another great thing about the Void Waker as well, um, this kind of is a big deal at TOA, is that it's nearly whip stats. It's almost the same as a whip. So in Tombs of a Masket, you want a really hard hitting four tick weapon. So I bring the blade. I don't have to anymore. I can bring this as my spec weapon and my four tick weapon. So that saves a whole ass inventory slot. I can bring an extra switch, you know? So there's just so many benefits to this weapon. I'm glad I grinded it out. And before I forget, let's open up all of my Laren's keys. Got up to 43 from the grind. What I'm looking for are the Dagon High pieces. I really doubt we're going to get any of them, but it'd be really cool to snag one. And the normal loot that you get is kind of like a souped up Konar chest. I'm so excited. Let's do it. All right, let's check these spoils. Okay. Yeah, like I said, pretty solid loot for me. Definitely the Dragon Arrow tips. It's a very limited supply. Um, there's only a few places where you get a good amount. And me having a Tebow, I use them very quickly when I do. So nice to get another 700 back. Um, other than that, a lot of steel bars. So good for cannonballs if I want to make those and yeah, just general money. That is just a taste because maybe eventually we'll go for the Dagon High set. There are much faster ways of getting keys than the Void Waker grind. And I also did go and turn in all of my ancient artifacts from Revs. Got a clean 43 mil. My lord. This has been a trek, a journey, an episode of the ages. I have never put this much time into a single video, I think ever. So I would really appreciate it if you would like and comment and share this video. I would love for it to do well, you know? Just a rough estimate, this was like a few hundred hours of gameplay and I don't know, probably like 15 plus hours of editing. Yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy though. I'm only just scratching the surface of where I'm taking this account next. I'll see you guys then.